Hey everybody, welcome back to another live market update with the team at trading and investing for you.com. As always, just before I begin, I just need to say that when we made this video, we did not take into account investment objectives or needs of the investors. So anything we do say is general advice only. So let's get into it today. I want to talk about the latest stock market news, and I also want to have a look at the continuing Spanish debt crisis because it does not appear that it is going to finish any time soon. But before we do that, once again, if you are watching this on YouTube, please make sure you're taking advantage of our free education. And please make sure you click over to our blog where we're going to have a full in-depth article about the topics I'll cover in just a moment. When you go, you'll have your blog there in the middle. And you also have, very importantly, our free video where our professional trader, John Howe, will show you his amazing three-step simple system to finding key entry points in the market. And once again at the top there, there's your free ticket to our free two-day cash flow mastery summit coming up in August. You're going to learn lots of excellent cash flow strategies to help you out here in these difficult times. And any money that we do make goes straight to our favorite charity. So, let's get into it. Stock news and Spain. Well, yesterday we had a pretty light trading down Wall Street, but still we saw some big slides. And it appears the main reasons, number one, of course, fears of the global economy, no secret there, but also some news that came out of China yesterday. I think I mentioned we're going to be looking at some inflation data, and it actually came out to show that China's inflation is slowing down quite a bit. And that, of course, means that it is likely we are going to see a decrease in imports. So China is not going to be importing as much as they were from other countries around the world, which is likely going to exacerbate the global slowdown further. As well as this, unfortunately, Japan came out with some data and they showed that machinery orders fell at a record pace last month. Once again, the slowdown in Asia is starting to deepen. And this is coming at a time where we're coming earnings. Second quarter earnings season in the US and yesterday we had our first company, Alcoa, in come out and they came out with slightly better than expected earnings, but still, the overwhelming sentiment for this earnings season is absolutely negative, most unfortunately. Uh, we're going to be seeing quite a few earnings coming out over the next few weeks, obviously, but it seems like the majority of corporates around America are saying not to expect the best. And of course, we're having fingers pointed at Europe. Obviously, corporates are very worried about the effect of the slowing Europe and slowing Asia on their bottom line, and they're warning investors to not get their hopes up too much. So let's see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Now, the Spanish debt crisis. I think we all got a bit optimistic a couple of weeks ago, potentially, when we thought that uh, things were finally coming to an end. Well, yesterday we had the first meeting of the finance ministers. They got together to try and define and set deficit targets for Spain's latest bailout. And they did a little bit. They did a little bit. They uh, figured out that Spain was going to be given an extra year to reach its deficit targets. But the key areas of negotiation, the key areas that all the markets want to hear about, are, of course, what's going to happen with the emergency bond buying and also what's going to happen with the bailout for the banks. And those key initiatives were unfortunately lacking. And there continues to be a big divide, I think, between northern European states that are relatively economically sound, I guess, and the southern states like Spain and Italy, which are falling apart. So that divide, unfortunately, is hmm, keeping things from moving along to the looks of it. So it looks like negotiations will be ongoing, and it looks like the market's not going to get the response that it's looking for in regard to the Spanish debt crisis. And actually, bond rates for Italy continue to go up something we definitely do not want to see. So, given all of those events, it looks like the Spanish debt crisis is going to be ongoing for a little while, and it's going to have a dragging effect on not only the European economy, but markets in general, because investors are just not getting the answers that they're looking for. So, as a wrap, 
it looks like over the next week or so, we've still got the Fed meetings come out, and we've still got the Japan minutes coming out as well on the state of their economy. Hopefully, we're going to have some good news there. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But in the near term, it looks like the Spanish debt crisis is going to continue, and the earnings season, unfortunately, is not going to be as positive as some of us would like. So, that's a wrap for today. Please make sure, once again, you go and check out the links below. If you're watching this on YouTube, please check out our blog, and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for listening.